Today I've got a uh, nice new video for you here. This is going to be on my good old Galaxy S4. Not really old, but I guess old for me. I've been using that Note 3 all the time. But um, what I'm going to show you guys today is I'm going to show you guys how to get root access on this device on the latest build, um, at least at this time. So let me go ahead and show you what I've got here. Um, so this is Android 4.3, and then our build number is the MK2. Now this root access will also work on MJ7 or whatever the last one is, I think it's MJ7, um, but it also works on MK2. So the root process should work the same on either of those build numbers. Um, if they update after this, I'll probably continue to do videos on this device and show you those as well. But this is a pretty easy setup to do. So as long as you're in here in about phone, what I want you to do is go ahead and find that build number right there and tap on it until it says you are a developer. I'm already one, so it says that. It's about 10 taps. Then you're going to have this option right here. And it says right here, USB de uh, development options are on, and you have checked USB debugging. Those are your two important things to have checked. Once you have those checked, that's all you have to do as a prerequisite on your phone. And we're going to go ahead and hook it up to the computer, and we're going to run some stuff. Let's shoot over to my computer really quick. Alright guys, so here you go. This is what we're going to actually be doing. This is the um, forum for this process. So just so you know what it looks like um, and where it is at, this is it right here. So what we're going to do is follow these steps. Um, and I'll link this in the video description. But what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to find the files we need. So what you're going to be downloading is this right here. It's called Safe Root Zip. And then you're going to extract it. And I have mine extracted right here. So you just, you know, double click on it, tell it to extract. This is 7-zip if you don't know what that is. And from there, all you got to do is extract it. I restricted it to this folder. And then I also actually placed this in there. So you're also going to have to download this. This is the Samsung USB drivers. So go ahead and run the drivers. So you just click on them. And see what happens here um, it says you've already done this so for you it would, it would say you know install blah 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 go through until it finishes and then it'll it'll close out um, I'm not gonna proceed because I've already installed them but for you guys you just step through that process it's very simple just basically hit next 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 and finish um, so we've got that done let's go ahead and plug in our cable so on our device just take your USB cable go ahead and plug it in and it's going to install some drivers on your computer and you should see a couple of things here one of them is going to be go ahead and click that on and that's what you want to be in media device and that should be connected if development options are on you should just go in settings you can just make sure that they're still on more right there developer on and debugging is on okay so that's perfect so now you've got everything set up your drivers are going to install on your computer it may take a second for them to install so be patient and we'll continue on from there alright so on the computer guys we've got our drivers installed everything's gone smoothly normally there'll be a pop-up down here in your window that will you know tell you drivers and stuff you click on it you can kinda of watch them install the most important drivers are going to be your ADB drivers that driver needs to install correctly and you can see it running down here when your phone first connects to your computer. So then all you've got to do from there is you just got to go to this install bat and just double click on it. And it talks about your device plugged in. Press any key to continue. So press space bar on your computer. And it's sending stuff to the device. At this point you may have a pop-up on your device saying you need to enable this ADB stuff and then it'll go from there you can see that the device is rebooting now it does say custom because you have rooted the device so you have changed it so that's not a big deal to say custom I wouldn't you don't worry about it all it doesn't change anything except for if you had a warranty thing they'd be like oh it says custom you did something to your device which you can restore with an Odin or a restore it's not really a huge deal so right here your device is going ahead and rebooting and it's still waiting for the device to appear in the system. Um, you can do this just so you guys can see it. You can go ahead and unlock it here. 
I don't have a SIM, don't worry about that. Go in here to connections, go ahead and tap this again, and then the, the computer is going to see the device. So here you go, you can see um, it's waiting until device reboots, then click it. Alright, so it says unlock it, which we just did, and press continue. So go ahead and press continue on your keyboard. And now your device is going to come up and ask you for Super Sue. Go ahead and grant it. That means you have root access, but it's going to do one last thing to your device. It's going to go ahead and um, install BusyBox, which you can see it's actually doing right down here on the device. And you're almost done with the installation and the root process here. I'm getting insane messages right now. It's kind of driving me nutty. Stop it, Marshall. This is to you. I'm yelling at you. Cut it out. I'm trying to make a video. All right, so here you go. On the computer, it says that the process is finished and you should be done. You could done with your computer. Let's go show you root access on the phone. And if you slide over, you should have Super Sue right there. And it says install new binaries. Go ahead and hit it. Hit normal. Do not hit clockwork Mike recovery. That will not work. Successful. And no thanks. And boom, that's it. You have root access. You gave ADB shell root access. Um, and just to prove like another one here, we're going to go ahead and go in here. This is ES File Browser. Oh, it already asked. Grant root access. That's it. That, that pop-up for granting for root access is the proof that you have root on your device. So that's going to be it, guys. That is how to get root access using Safe Root. Super easy, super easy to do on the Galaxy S4 MK2 or MJ7. Hope you guys like this video. As always... Root Junkie out.